Hey yo, that's a testing video. So keep on rolling, rolling, slowly, slowly, riding, riding the midnight ride. So there is this feature. It is not really a new but if you never seen it before, Flatpak GNOME apps can discover updates and upgrade themselves. For example GNOME Builder has this notification on the build menu. On update we get a system notification, but we don't need to enter a password since we already have added the Flatpak remote. Probably you've seen already the plans for the software app, basically featuring a sidebar similar to apps like settings. This work won't be on GNOME 40, but there are some UI changes merged. For instance we have slightly redesigned banners, and meanwhile that rounded controls have become a strong design language element. We'll find them on apps close buttons, and they have gone bigger than ever on shell. And in general GNOME 40 follows a typical Japanese everything is a circle design. Most significant changes though is on app details page, like this read more button. And even more significant is the new version history widget. So you know how dark and light themes works normally everywhere else than GNOME. I'm not really aware of the plan, but watch this. That's GTK4 Widget Factory, and it currently uses the Add Way to Light theme. So if we set the dark theme, the app will also get dark, but not for the reason you may think. Instead we now have a current property, which means we can use either the system default theme, or override it. That potentially means we can get a proper dark support in settings, but I don't really know. What I do know, is that gedit has totally lost purpose. It's like too weak for a code and too bloated for a text editor. But most importantly GNOME Builder made easier the creation of a brand new text editor, since there will be much of code reshare. For start the app is written directly on GTK4, and a special mention to the open menu that for some reason was dropped from gedit. On tabs right click we have these popovers, and popovers we also have on source code, which by the way is GTK source code 5, and has a few bugs. And more popovers follow on save and config menus, and basically traditional menus are almost gone from GNOME. And then we have some more circles for selecting theme colors, kinda stolen from elementary design language. And this search widget is stolen from GNOME Builder, and obviously the two apps will have lots of similarities. This editor most probably will be a tech preview on GNOME 40 release, and we won't find lots inside the single page preferences. And you know what other GNOME 40 app is now a single page preferences? I think I speak for all of us, when I say I understand. Why you folks might hesitate, to submit to our demand. But here's an FYI. 